Welcome to a new guitar tutorial and today we have a look at one of my favorite guitar instrumentals. It's the song Revelation, originally recorded by the Yellow Jackets and we're gonna check out the version played by Robin Ford on his album Talk to Your Daughter. If you're interested in sheet music of this melody part, you can go to my Patreon page. There you can download a full transcription of the melody, including tabs and regular notation. And if you enjoyed the lesson, please hit subscribe, ring the bell, leave a like and drop me a line in the comments. Revelation is a, is a gospel oriented song with a lot of chord changes and it's in the key of, of G major and, and the, the melody is in a G major scale with a little bit of blues added. We are starting on the on the tenth fret of the of the B string, and we're doing a, a whole tone bend. Then we release this bend, doing a pull off to the to the eighth fret of the B string. Then we pick the eighth fret one more time, and then we're doing a hammer on to the tenth fret. And after that, we're going to the seventh thread of the of the E string, which is played twice. So a complete first phrase. After that, we're going to the seventh thread of the of the G string, and then up to the seventh thread of the high E string. So we are skipping the B string. Then the eighth thread of the high E string, tenth thread of the high E string. And then we're doing a hammer-on starting on the 8th fret of the B string up to the 10th fret of the B string. And then we're going down to the 8th fret of the, of the B string again, which is played twice. So this complete phrase. Then we're going down to the 9th fret of the G string and then we're doing a, a whole tone band on the 10th fret of the B string again. After that the 10th fret is banded one more time but this time we're only doing a, a half tone band. Then going back down to the 10th fret, going down to the 8th fret again and then up to the 10th fret again and then back down to the 8th fret. One more time. Then we're going down to the 7th fret of the G string again, doing a hammer on to the 9th fret and then back down to the 7th fret. So this complete part. And then we're doing a slide starting on the on the eleventh fret up to the twelfth fret, going down to the tenth fret of the high E string, and then we're doing a whole tone band on the on the tenth fret of the B string again, followed by a half tone band, and then reband to the tenth fret and then pull off to the eighth fret. And this A thread is picked again. So uh, this is complete part one more time. And the complete eight first eight bars one more time. Then this complete A section is repeated. And we're ending one more time on this 8th fret of the B string, 
But now the, the B section is starting. First we are holding this eighth fret. And then we're going up to the tenth fret of the of the B string, doing a pull-off to the eighth fret. And this pull-off is played twice. Then we're going up to the tenth fret again. And then up to the seventh fret of the high string. After that we're playing the eighth fret of the of the B string again. And then we're going down to the eighth fret of the G string. So we have the eighth fret of the G string up to the ninth fret of the G string. Then the eighth fret of the B string up to the tenth fret of the B string. And now we're doing a hammer on. We're picking the tenth fret again. Hammer on up to the 11th fret, pull off down to the 10th fret, and then a pull off down to the 8th fret. Then back up to the 10th fret of the B string again, down to the 9th fret of the G string, and then back up to the 8th fret of the B string. And then we're doing one more time a hammer on, starting on the 7th fret of the G string, up to the 9th fret, going back down to the 7th fret. So just complete phrase one more time. Then we're starting one more time on the 7th fret of the, of the G string, skipping the B string and going up to the 7th fret of the high E string. 7th fret of the E string, 8th fret of the E string again, and 10th fret of the, of the uh, E string. Hammer on starting on the 8th fret of the B string up to the 10th fret. And then one more time, the 8th the fret of the B string is played twice. Then we have to slide up to the 12th fret again. And then we're doing this whole tone bend, followed by this half tone bend, rebend back down to the to the eighth fret of the B string again, which is played twice. It's basically the same phrase that we played before. So this complete last section. And then the C section starts and it goes like this. So we're starting on the 7th fret of the high E string, up to the 8th fret of the high E string, and then the 10th fret of the high E string. Then we're picking the 10th fret again and doing a slide up to the 12th fret. And then we're doing a whole tone bend on the 10th fret of the B string. And this banded note is played or is picked one more time. So we have. Then we're doing a, a half tone bend on the on the 10th fret of the of the B string. So we Bend this note, then we're doing the rebend, pull off to the eighth fret, and then back up to the tenth fret again, and then one more time pull off. So this complete part one more time. Then this part is basically, basically repeated with some slight variations. First of all, we're, we're doing some, some triad arpeggios. So we're starting on the, on the seventh fret of the high E string again. But now we're adding this G major triad. So we have the seventh fret of the E string, eighth fret of the, of the B string, and then the seventh fret of the G string. Then we're going up to the 10th fret of the high E string. 
sorry, the eighth fret of the high E string, then the tenth fret of the of the B string, and then the ninth fret of the G string. And then we're we're back up on the on the tenth fret of the high E string. Then we're doing this slide up to the twelfth fret again. And one more time the, the bending as we played before. And the end of this phrase is also played in the same way. Then the next four bars of the C section start also on the seventh fret of the high E string. And now we're doing a, a chromatic line up to the to the tenth fret. So we have the seventh fret of the high E string, eighth fret, ninth fret, up to the tenth fret. Then one more time the slide. One more time the spanning, which is picked twice. And then we have the, the same phrase at the end. But now we're, we don't do the pull off down to the eighth fret. Now we're doing one more time a whole tone bend on the on the tenth fret. And then this this banded note is played one more time. With a reband and then we have to pull off to the eighth fret. So the end of this part one more time. And one more time, the complete third part of the of the C section. And the the last part of the C section is played as the second part. We have this this arpeggios one more time. This is the complete melody section of Revelation. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please hit subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, drop me a line in the comments and I hope to see you next time. Bye.